Welcome in and good evening. So we're going to play this for a little bit today, tonight. <laughs> um, I'm going to stay up late tonight working because um, I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. Um, I'm super excited because Wednesday is my birthday. Yay! Um, and we've made it to 123 just subscribers and that's really exciting for me. Um, I just wanted to take the time to thank everyone who subscribed to my channel, old and new. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Um, we are we are moving in the right direction, I feel, and we are going to keep making strides and doing new fun things together. So with that said, we're going to play this. We're in autumn. We are on day 15. Um, I think I might have screwed this set up, but we're going to go ahead and play it anyway. Um, I can't find very much manure, and I think it's because I uh, did not put my world settings uh, the way I probably should have. But it's okay. It's no harm, no foul. Um, we're on day 15. Um, let's look and see what we need. Not much. We're pretty good. Um, we got an ice box. We are going to put our ice in it, hopefully, from the winter. Keep it for summer. We're going to make a vest, and I don't know if we've got all the feathers. Let's look and see. We're, okay, we got two, two, three. I think we do. Let's look at it. Let's go over here. I think we have to have one of these to make it. And that is actually in survival. Now, what we're going to do is, for now, we're going to make everything we need for seasons coming up mm, I don't think this is in here is it let's look let me look real quick I know what I'm looking for maybe it is in dress I thought I didn't think it was but maybe it is we need one of these two that's why I need manure so we are gonna have to go ton it down breezy vest Dapper vest, puffy vest, there it is. Summer frost. We are going to make one of these. We have three feathers, two pigskin, and a rope. Um, so before it becomes summer, we're going to make one of these. Now, do we make a thermal stone yet? Because it is day 15 and we are going to need one. So we have a made, yep, we sure did make a thermal stone. All right, now here's what we're going to do together today. First of all, we're going to stay here because it's getting dark. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to get our hand bat. Do we have one? Did I make one on the, yes, I did. Okay. I just trying to keep up. Now, the reason that we're doing this video is because I didn't get to stream with you on Friday because I was incredibly sick. Um, I don't know if a, a lot of you know, if you're new here, you don't. Um, I am almost four weeks post-op. I had a surgery um, at the end of December. Uh, my husband's sister passed away during that time. He had to go to Florida for the funeral. When he come back, he brought COVID back with him, <laughs> unfortunately. So we've been fighting that for over a week. We are both now beginning better over the COVID, and I'm almost four weeks post-op, so I'm feeling better. So we're going to do this together tonight. What we're going to do when this comes up is we're going to go search out manure. Uh, because I want to plant the seeds to try to get the watermelons and I'm going to try to put them in the ice box for the summer stuff or I'm just going to go ahead and make the fashion melons. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to, we're going to keep, and I'm challenging myself to make it a whole year and don't starve. So I'm challenging myself to make it through autumn, winter, spring and summer. And then back to autumn without without dying. So that's my challenge. How many days can I make it? Can I make it through one whole cycle of seasons without dying? So we'll see if I can make it. And if any of you want to do it with me, um, we can do that too. Um, we could see how many of us can make it through all of the seasons without dying and who builds the best base camp <laughs> I might put that up on the discord and on the channel 
And if you're all interested, you could try that too. I've already got one for Animal Crossing going, but I don't guess it matters. Oh, we're just going to hang out and do this for about, oh, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. See how far we can get. We're going to go hunt down that manure because I think winter starts about day 20 or so. So we need to be, we need to be hurrying. It's day 16. So let's just go. Let's see. Our pocket's empty. Pretty in our backpack. Yeah, we'll be okay because really what we're looking mostly for is manure. How much grass do we have? I think manure and grass because we're going to need grass for fires. Okay. So let's just take a walk and let's see if we can find some because we really need to do these farms. Now I am wearing a football helmet. I do have a hand bat. Um, I am built my base camp already by the pigs. Um, those are all great tips and advice that I would share with you. Good things to do. Always a good thing to have plenty of butterfly wings. Set your traps for rabbits. Uh, make an ice box, storage chests. Um, I don't know what else I could. Um, permanent fire at your base camp. Now the oh here we go here we go. Why didn't I come up this way? Look at all this. Cool. Let's gather this up. Oh, there's the spiders we need too. Let's try this without. Hopefully, oh wait, that's got that big old cap on. Oh crap! Here they come. Okay. I think we can handle these. Let's just not swing at the beefalo. Come out here, big boy. Yeah, this is what you got to be careful of. Now watch that big yellow one because he's the one you got to really worry about. Nope, nope. You got to worry about the big yellow one. Let's get these first. Oop. Okay, now you can heal with this. There we go. Where'd the yellow one go? Did he go back in his thing? No. Where'd the pigs go? Get him, pig! Now, this is what you use the pigs for, because the pigs will help you. See how the pig is fighting him? You don't even have to worry about him now. Let's get these glands. And the manure. Is there another one in there? Uh-huh. I bet there is. Okay, hang on. Oh. Okay, let's do it. Now you're healed. Now you can use a spider glands to heal too. Not just a buffalo or buffalo wings. Butterfly wings. Now you want to get the spiders out of their dens. Because you want to hit it, hit it, hit it. And then get your silk. Because you need the silk too. Use the silk to make top hats and things like that. I'm very passionate about this game too. I love this game very much. Um, I practiced with um, Kara Lee um, from it's from the channel. It um, it's me, Kara Lee, and I also practiced with Nana Zay Gaming, and we practiced "Don't Starve" together on this Switch, and uh, we did pretty good. Um, it's always a learning curve to play together. I really have never played that version very much, and we played it on the Nintendo. Wow, look at all this stuff up here. Now, I want to show you something really neat. Um, I want to cover it. So, if you come up here and you hammer this, it'll give you bone shards. We really need to go back to the camp, though. But this isn't far from where we're at, so we can always come back. The beefalo wool is good, too. We need to get it. Let's get this other piece of manure. Cool, now we can make farms. That we found, finally found them. I, I thought, man, maybe I just didn't program this in right because I couldn't find manure for a really long time. So they're gonna do a video on this, and then uh, we may do Lost and Random this week too. Um, I'm I'm gonna try to not do that one every single week because that one is kind of dark, like this one. So if I give you one dark one, I'm gonna try not to give you very many of those. So that people, you know, I mean, too many of those at a time, you know, a lot. So I just want to be careful about how I go about it. 
And we will just keep on going down here to get back to camp. It should be just right down here. Yeah, but that's a good tip. Just, um, yeah, we just lucked into that spider den and that manure. That was cool. I do recommend the ham bats, and I did get that from someone on my stream when I first started streaming this game. Um, these are some of my best videos and some of my best streams. Uh, you all really seem to like these, and I appreciate it. Uh, this is one of my favorites, too. Not much to store, is there? I tell you what, let's cook some of this food off and let's put it in the ice box and then we can store that and then when we need more we can get more. Now we don't want to cook the seeds because we're going to plant those and we don't want to cook that because we will make another hand back because this one looks like it's about done. So let's go ahead and gather some things up while we're over here. Um, did I make my earmuffs? I think I did. And that's another good tip. Get your traps ready in autumn. I started in autumn because it's the easiest um, season to start in. Get your traps. Set them. Um, you can make your rabbit. Yeah, I made rabbit earmuffs. You can make your rabbit earmuffs. And those are good to have. Um, grass is really good because you can then, like, um, we're going to make a farm and see what we can get here in a minute. We're going to cook these morsels off and try to catch a couple more here. We're going to go back and get that beefalo wool, too, for a beefalo hat. You want to prepare yourself for winter, and we're also trying to prepare ourselves for summer. Um, and I also need to figure out how you make the watering can, because I know you can make one for summer. Because a little tip, because I made it to summer, but I didn't do very well, um, is that your crops do wither in the summer. So I think you can water them, and I'm going to check into it to see if we can figure out how to make one. So, yeah. Okay. So let's make another hand bat, but we probably need the ingredients, which is pig skin and the meat. You want to get as many catcoons as you can. That way you can make these. Um, so while the catcoons are around and you can see them, and this will be under fight. This is your hand bat. Now I'm telling you, these are good weapons. They really are. And the football helmet's a good item to have too. Let's put our silk up. Did we put the silk up? Gonna need silk for lots of things. You're gonna need silk for um well let's just look. I wanna try this. And let me see if I can find it. Is it in survival? Trap. Net. Thermal stone. Piggyback. Carries a lot but slows you down. Straw roll for roll. Tent. No, that's not what I wanted. Where is it at? Structures. Bite. Science. Food. Is it in refine? Um, or is it in here? Sewing kit. I want to make the sewing kit. I want to make the sewing kit because I want to see if I can fix my clothes. And I think I'm pretty close to it. So I need wood bone shards and silk and I've almost got enough and we're going to try it at some point to see if it how well it actually works all right we're just going to go back up and get what we didn't get we're going to make a farm and plant some seeds we could actually do that while it's dark so you're going to go to farm or you're going to go to food and you're going to hit basic farm you're going to have to have manure and some stuff for it okay so there's your farm and then you're going to, and it only allows you to plant one seed. And you don't know what crop you're really going to get. Let me see how much, if I have enough. Nope, I need grass. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep getting stuff and we'll make another farm. 
and we'll keep planting the seeds. The seeds that you plant are just the seeds that the birds leave. Um, so if you like, don't eat those. If you know, like you're not desperate. Let's get this cocoon too. If you're not desperate for food, then you can save those. I want the meat. Where's it at? This is so we can have more hand bats too. By the way, you can save that. Okay, let me see. I need a space in my pocket here. Okay, that's good. And then what happens when you do that is, let's just store these so we get more manure and grass and stuff. I don't know if I want to eat it. That's okay. You save them, you plant them in a basic farm, and then, um, yeah, then you get, like, crops. Like, I'm hoping to get a watermelon for the watermelon thing for summer. But you could get... I think I've got so far watermelon, uh, corn, which makes popcorn when you cook it. Uh, I think I got a sweet potato one time. Um, so yeah, there's just lots of different ones. So it's it's a good tip. It really helps. You want to have plenty of grass, plenty of wood, um, just plenty. I mean, plenty of everything. And we're going into the winter, so we want to fix our camp so we don't have to get too far out of it because that way you don't have to leave the camp and all that good stuff you can stay warm and stay in it stay where the pigs are and stay out of danger so as long as you have plenty of food now I didn't dig up very many bushes I'm gonna try to do that I've been so concerned about not having enough manure and that's another thing, like I needed the manure for like when I dig up the bushes and stuff. So I'm glad I found it. We will try to get all this done before winter starts. Here's another seed. Oh, we can't carry it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to eat these. <laughs> there we go. You want the seeds, you want the manures, because you want to be able to like plant farms to get what you need. I don't think I can carry it. That's fine. I'll come back and get it. Uh, we don't not up here. Maybe this is why I didn't come up this far. I would say it probably is. I'm not going to bother him. I'm not going to attempt to bother him. Um, even with a football helmet on. Well, crap. He's going to follow me, isn't he? Yeah, I don't want to be over here at dark. I can tell you that much right now. This is a fun game. You just kind of have to play with a little bit of... You just have to play smart. Just say it that way. You have to play really smart and not get tangled up in anything that's going to cause you not to be able to make it. I would like to get him, but I think I need to have a log suit. <gasps> ah! And that's just that easy to get caught up in it. Let's just go away from it. We'll see if we can't get some butterfly wings down here. But we got 20 pieces of manure, so that's good. Here they all are. And I've been looking for them the whole game and couldn't find them. So I'm glad I found them. That guy shot his thing at me. I need some butterfly wings. Let's get back down here. <clears throat> now in the winter, uh, or in the autumn and the winter, I let my beard grow. Because it does help keep you warm. Um, oh, I didn't get the beefalo wool. That's okay. Let's go back down here. Let's not go up there at night. We'll come back when we collect some butterfly wings and we'll get the beefalo wool. And we'll dig up some of those berry bushes and stuff like that. You just want to keep working at it. Just literally working at it all the time. It's it's just one of those games where you just you can't quit. Okay, we can store the pig skin. We don't need it right now anyway. I'll give us another spot. Ooh, more pig skin. I didn't know I had that much in my pocket. You just want to keep working at it. It's a fun game. 
Um, but it's something that you almost have to constantly be doing. And it can get kind of stressful. But it is really fun. Okay, now we got two crops planted. You just want to build your base camp. Um, and, oh, I lost my football helmet. Okay, let's make another one. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, okay, wait, we need pigskin for it. I know for sure. But I don't know what else. Let me look. Um, let's look. I think it's in fight two. Football helmet. Rope. Okay, that's fine. Um, a lot of the stuff I learned uh, early on, uh, when I first started streaming on YouTube, I did Don't Starve. And, and let's just do this and cook it. That way we can have room in our pocket for our rope. And I got a lot of, well, I'll just eat it. That's fine. Where's the rope? Okay. I got a lot of good tips from people and I learned a lot of things that I didn't know and one of the things that they told me to do was make a hand bat and a football helmet and I'm telling you it works it works it works so um, just be aware that it does work it works on the bigger enemies and it's it's really helpful so it does work uh, the hand bat takes meat now I think as far as the meat goes, you can have the meat from, like, uh, not the rabbits. The rabbit, the, it's too little. That's only a morsel. But you can have the meat from a cocoon. Um, any of those. Uh, the cocoon, the buffalo, I think the turkey would work. Um, anything that's big like that would work. The turkey, the beefalo, the cocoon, it all works. So... You get the meat from those, and then you can make them into what they call hand bats. I think you have to have pig skin. You get that pig skin, two pieces of the big meat, and you have to have rope, I do believe. And you make a hand bat. For the football helmet, you have to have pig skin and rope. And I'm telling you, it's good protection, and it's a good weapon. And you won't be sorry that you did it. I think we need wood. So, and these are just tips that I'm giving, you know, if you have any tips that, that you would like to give me, you can leave them in the comment box below and I'll, and I'll probably use them and then mention them in a video because I really like the feedback. It does not bother me at all. I like the feedback. I like to know, you know, hey, you know, you could do this and this would be better, you know. I, I like the feedback because then we learn from each other and I think that's important. I'm also going to make a log suit. But when you do that, I caution you because when you wear a raincoat, a log suit, I'm, I'm assuming when I, if I make that summer vest and put it on for summer, when you do that stuff, I'm just cautioning you. When you put these things on, the log suit, uh, the raincoat, uh, anything else like that, just be aware that when you do that, it will take your backpack. So you can't wear the backpack and have like a log suit or a raincoat. So if I were you, I would just take it off away from the fire and in a place that you can clearly see where it is. So when you come back, you will have your backpack and all the items in it. I learned the hard way. Same thing about your storage chest. Uh, it, it may just seem like common sense, but they're just tips. Um, don't don't place your storage chest close to the fire. You know, it's made of wood. It will burn. I mean, this is just things that I did that I felt stupid about afterwards. And so I'm like, well, I'll tell these new players, you know, if you're new to it, Starting out new players, what I would do is I would put it on long day, too. That's another good tip. The longer the day, the better. Um, that way, 
you have more time to get like your wood and your grass and make your axe and chop your trees and um, stuff like that. Because you have to have all that starting out. Where was that people? Oh, let's get this too. Well, we can't. We can only get one or the other. Now, when it starts to turn winter, another thing that you need to know is, wow, there's more up here that I didn't even know about. Let's go see what's up here. Um, another good tip is, do this to keep our mind gosh there's lots up here I didn't even know this was all up here I'm sorry I lost my train of thought because I was so shocked to see all this I guess I just wasn't going the right way ooh morsel should we take it I really wanted the beefalo ooh let's get this cocoon though we do need this I would say put it on a long day and the first thing you need to do when you're first starting out is you need to start with your wood and your grass but the first thing you really need to do besides that I'm gonna get these while we can so we can have more hand bats is you need to get your flint get your twig and make an axe so you can cut the wood down or cut the trees down for the wood and then start collecting your grass that's where I always start that's what I always do okay my hand bat went bad so I'm gonna pick this one up these are just so handy um, where'd that beefalo wool go that we saw earlier that's what I was after and then I was gonna empty my pockets a little bit when we were gonna get some more bushes and stuff dug up before it gets too cold put it on long day too like I said there it is there's my wool um, that really helps that's what I did when I started playing what I had to do when I first started playing was I couldn't figure out the I couldn't figure it out at first I felt really stupid um, like I've said in earlier videos a friend of mine from where I used to work said you need to try this game so I thought okay well I'll give it a shot you know I like to play you know whatever and I couldn't even make it through a day without dying because I couldn't get the fire going so the first thing I did was I went back and I talked to this friend at work and I'm like I can't play this game I and she was like oh you need to do this so also on the beginning screen and I'll show you when we come out of here later um, there's a place uh, where you can like make changes to your world and it's a really good feature and you can put more or less of different things in it so that's good and that's that's my recommendation Put it on autumn. Autumn is the easiest season to start in. The days are fairly decently long. Make it a long day. Um, when you first start, don't worry about a base camp when you first start. When you first start, don't even worry about that. I would just worry about your um, flint and twigs first. And then I would worry about your... Um, wood and your grass so you can build fires because when you first start off you won't have this and you won't have this so my first thought is you know enough wood and grass to start your fire to build because you'll have to build one of these like a regular fire and then go on about your business get used to that get down to a good rhythm with that and then the next thing you would want to add is a science machine you don't necessarily have to keep it. You can just do it. Okay, let's dig this up. Let's dig this up while we're talking. You can just do it. And then you can like be, okay, I did it. And then what I would do is make the science machine, make your backpack. 
because you need gold, I think you need gold, rocks, and um, maybe something else for the science machine. Make it, put it down. You can always make a hammer and like hammer it back. You don't have to keep it. Make your backpack, use your hammer to knock it down, and then just keep going. You want to cover as much of the map as you can. Um, you want to get as much food as you can, um, too. Like, you want to, um, just keep collecting the food. And I always cook mine, because it makes it easier. And it keeps better. So, yeah, that's kind of how I play the game. Let's make another one of these farms. It's just basic defense, basically, you know, protection, like your handbag, your foot Bahama, your log suit, which we are going to make, because some of these uh, monsters down in the winter get kind of, kind of dicey. Um, I like it when I can make a permanent camp, because I can have a permanent fire pit, and these only take wood. You don't have to have the grass then, um, but before that, you do. So before you make one of these little stone permanent ones in your camp. Oh yeah, and watch out for these guys here. Because they steal rocks, flint, those, uh, the moles. They'll steal your rocks. They'll steal your flint. Um, they'll steal your thermal stone in the winter. So be really careful of that. When winter starts to happen, you will know. Because the ground will get a little bit white looking. And the rabbits will turn, I think they turn white, the birds turn blue. It's a whole different vibe when winter starts, so it's not like this. And it gets darker a lot quicker. You want to listen for monsters too? I mean, you'll hear sounds, you know, like they're loud. Um, sometimes even the, like the ground, you'll hear it, you know, like heavy footsteps on the ground. Um, sometimes they'll give you a message that'll pop up on the screen and said, did you hear that, you know? Well, we already had hounds at day, might have been 13, so I think we're maybe good for a while. I don't know if we'll have one at the end here, but we'll see. Hopefully we get a watermelon out of some of this. And you use the far more than once, which is really nice. So once you get the manure to make them, you can always make them another time. Let's plant this twig bush here for twigs. The twigs are needed because, um, or the saplings, saplings, and they'll give you twigs. Uh, yeah, my mind's starting to go a little bit. If your sanity gets bad, like that little thing that looks like a brain up there in the corner of the screen... I left the camera off tonight so you can see my stuff. Because a lot of times the camera covers up my things on the top of the screen. So, if that little mind thing there gets bad, you will see it. And it will get like, like it is. And then you need to pick some flowers. So, let's go look for flowers. Let's get this guy here. We just want to have enough so we can make ham bats throughout. You don't have to bother the pigs. The pigs won't bother you. Um, they don't care about you. I mean, I don't, I don't mean it that way, but they'll leave you alone. Don't bother them. They're your friend, like really. Um, if you feed them monster meat, they'll follow you, and then they'll help you. You can build their camp, your camps beside them. They're very useful, so if I were you, I'd keep the pigs around. And we're going to start digging up bushes now and replanting them. We, we don't want over here till spring. Um, this is tentacle, and where you can get the tentacles. And you want a log suit for that. Because when you kill the um, tentacle bush, you want to be prepared. You have to kill the tentacle, I forget what they call it, but it's a tentacle. 
and you're gonna kill it to make your raincoat and get your tentacle spots that's one thing that you're gonna need to get to get for the raincoat is tentacle spots and when we get to spring I'll show you but we're not that far yet and this is just stuff that I had to look up read and really understand because I started playing this game on the channel I'm like I need to know more about this if I'm gonna you know try to play this with people and talk about it so oh the shovel broke okay let's make another one because we will need a shovel there we go see how my mom how that brain went back to looking better um, that's because I picked a little bit of flowers and now it looks a little bit better we need to eat Let's eat some of these. You always want to have plenty of food. You, you always want to be aware of where the food's at, too, you know, because that's important. But if you have enough food in your camp, then you don't really have to worry about it. You don't want to use all your manure, but I think I have enough for all this. So let's go plant some of this back over here. And this is just helpful in winter. Now, I did learn something else that I had always wondered. Um, I always wondered if you dug one of the... Okay. So, I always wondered, like, you dig these up, you fertilize them. Okay? You fertilize them this time. They get berries and you pick the berries. Do they grow again? And the answer is yes. So, if you pick them once, you dig them back up. You re-fertilize them, they will grow berries again. So they do it more than once after being dug up and picked. So that's an important tip too. It will grow again, you just have to dig it back up. So say for instance, I picked the berries off of this now. I'm not going to, but say I did. I could dig this bush up again, plant it back down again, re-fertilize it, and it will give me berries again. So just that's just another tip. It's not ready yet. Now, like I said, I'm going to figure out if there's a watering can for summer. Because I noticed in the summer when I tried to play. And that video is, I think it's up on the channel where I didn't make it. Um, I had to quit because summer was literally so hard. But um, it should be in a good position now for summer. Uh, but anyway, nope, I just got corn this time. That's okay. It's food. Let's try again. We're trying for a watermelon. Um, I want to see if there's a watering can that we can make. If there is, I'm going to figure out how, and I'm going to make it. So we can keep watering these crops in the summer. I'm going to take this cat towel because we can use this for things. Uh, here's the trick. I'm going to put this meat in the ice box because if we get desperate, we can eat it. And if not, then we can make more hand bats. Let's see if we can find... Well, our progress are full. Well, it's okay. We already have the manure, so it'll, it'll just stack. So we can find some more. We don't want up there by that thing, though. But... That's okay. Here's some more right here. Let's dig this bush up too. Oh, well, let me carry it. Okay. We're on day 19, and I think we started on day 15. It's important because I always put it in the titles and the descriptions, just so you guys know where we're at with it. Some people care about that sort of thing. I don't know if others do or not. Let's get this cocoon while we can. Now, in the winter and stuff, they get kind of scary. So that's why I said let's get it while we can. Yep. I knew it. What's this thing? Nope, I don't want none of you. Nope. Go away. I take him back down here by this pig. 
Go away. I'm not kidding around. He's going to come down here. Okay, hang on. I want to do this smart. I knew he was going to come down here. Son of a... I knew he was. Is he going to attack us? Where's the pigs when you need them? Where are they at? Oh, you can't attack them from behind either. It has to come from the front on this game. So if you ever notice I don't try to sneak up behind them, it's because you... What is this thing? Is it going to hit me? Oh! Oh, get it, pig! Get it! I want me hit it. Did I die? Oh, good, I didn't die. Oh, what did I do that for? Oh, it's got all kinds of stuff. Okay, I gotta be careful, though. Okay, that might have been our monster, guys, for this period of time. I don't know. Let's get over here by the fire. That was kind of exciting. I've never done that. It killed the pig, though, but that's okay. Let's heal up with this in case we encounter something else. <clears throat> I'll go back and get that stuff when it gets lined out. I was like, what is that? Okay, let's cook this too. i never seen one of those, so... If you know what that is, leave it in the comment box below. I was too busy trying to find it to see what the name of it was, but I got it. We are going to do another... Um, oh, and it also, the football helmet also protects you from the elements. So, like rain... And all that. It does protect you from that. What's I going to say? Yeah. Okay, so it'll be day 20 when it comes back. We're getting close to winter. I have made it through winter. We do need to make a log suit, though, because that thing was kind of freaky. I didn't know what it was. Okay. Okay, I don't want these. Okay. Darn it, I don't want to do that. I gotta dig it back up now and fertilize it. Okay. What else do I have that I don't let's plant this berry bush. We got it though, whatever it was. I think the reason I have a little bit more success these days is because of the hand bats and stuff. But we're going to leave this meat here for the pigs. And we're going to dig these up and fertilize these because we knocked them down. And I didn't mean to. I think I just got overexcited. There's the pig. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. If you leave this monster meat, he will eat it. He will eat it. What's this? Okay, hang on. Oh, it's a pumpkin. We got a pumpkin, it looks like. I'm telling you what, guys. This is where it's at in this game. These farms. Because you get things that you... I have gotten things that I've never got before. It's wild. Okay, we're going to store this in there. And we're going to get him, too. I'm telling you, we're going to have so much stuff we're not even going to do with it. My husband is, he has to work tomorrow and I don't because I'm, I'm off for about six weeks. And I said, I'm going to go make a video and I'll be up in a little bit. So, I was like, I got to get this done. I, I worked for two hours on something else for the channel tonight and I was like, I got to do this. got to have a video. Plus, I just enjoy doing it. What is this? Oh, it is a pumpkin. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. I think this is the best way to do it is to start yourself in autumn. Because when you start in autumn, it seems like you have a lot of stuff. And it's a little bit easier than when you try to start in the spring or summer. 
So that's my tip for someone who hasn't played a lot. Just start in autumn and just work your way through it. This game is not hard. It's just learning all the ins and outs of things that you can do. But it is like, seriously fun. Okay, let's go back. Because it's not it's not cold yet. So let's go get the flowers. Let's go get more manure if we can get it. Butterfly wings. Let's just keep working at it. You can also leave in the comment box below who you like to play with. Like, who's your favorite character to play with? Like, uh, I, I always do Wilson, but is there another favorite that you have that you like to do? That's always good, too. What season do you like to start from? And what is your favorite season to play in? My favorite season is Autumn. It really is autumn, but um, I have learned how to play fairly decently in the winter, and that was encouraging to me. We probably should have made a raincoat for this. I didn't even think we would need it. Let's go get dried off by the fire. So if you start seeing the blue bottle and you start seeing your stuff get blue inside the bottom line here where we're working on this, it means that you're getting a little. Uh, this means you're getting wet, basically. Um, you can always go hang out by a fire and dry off. Now, see, I feel really confident playing here, but when I practiced with Carolee and Nana, a, um, that was a little bit different. But that don't starve together is different too. It's not the same as all this, because I mean, I just, I mean. I'm decent. I'm not an expert at this by any means. But that the other day was a little bit different for me because I'm not used to playing like that. And I felt I felt bad because I talked him into it. And I was like, oh, yeah, let's play together. We'll do a collab, which I think we are still going to do. Um, and I was so excited about it. And I still am. And then I played and I was like, I didn't do very well. And then I felt bad because I was like, well... Daisy, you talked him into, what is this? Soggy Durin. Okay, well, it's not a watermelon. Too many more seeds. Let's try again. And the straw hats are good for this stuff, too. Let's just put this in the... Did we put our pumpkin in here? We did. Okay. Mm -mm. Straw hats are good for rain. We could make a parasol, and that would help with the rain, too, a little bit. There's a winter hat. <coughs> There's a fashion melon, which we're going to try to make for summer. Well, where's it at? Is it not in that stuff? I'm having a hard time finding my clothes tonight. I bet it was in this stuff. Guess not. Let's hang out by the fire. Maybe it'll quit in a minute. And also, when you're wet, it causes your sanity to go down. So you just want to watch. And also... You want to watch because when you get wet, it causes your sanity to go down. When your sanity goes down, you see the creepy hands and all that stuff. Um, and then when it does turn to winter, if you're really wet, you'll be really cold. So just be really aware. I mean, you can be, it can make you be really cold whether you're in winter or not. So. We're going to have a really fun week on the channel, so um, tomorrow is another Animal Crossing stream. We're going to build Hogsmeade. Um, what else? 
Wednesday is my birthday stream. I'm excited about that. Friday we will be streaming Don't Starve. We will do it Friday. We will, we will. We will be doing it again. Hopefully we'll have already made it to winter in that stream. We can stream winter. I'm going to try to dry out here for a minute. Because I'm really, really wet here. I wonder if I got any more wood. Yep, I don't. Okay. Well, that's the benefit of planting trees in your base camp. So if you planted trees in your base camp, then you're good to go. We have all kinds of stuff. Now, you want to be careful doing this because when you get the pine cones, be really careful. Sometimes if you replant it, it could turn into a tree monster. Um, so just be careful with that and be cautious. It's okay to plant them because it's it's a good idea. They protect you from... A lot of times if you do the trees... Now, I know that a lot of people do like the wood walls and things like that. And those are good too. However, I have a hard time with that. So, what I usually do is I just plant the trees. And if, you're, if you do it right, it'll give you protection from some of this stuff too. Like some of your enemies. Now, I won't all of them. And they do sometimes eventually come into your camp. But it does help a little bit. Okay, now see how it's starting to get a little brighter? Okay, when it starts to get a little brighter like this, you're getting closer and closer to winter. See how the birds are starting to change now? So that means you're getting closer to winter now. So you just want to be cautious and not get cold. You don't have to worry about it just yet. Let's eat something. Um, but you do want to start paying attention because you're getting close now. See how the birds, some of the birds are changing uh, to blue. Uh, the rabbits will too. And the one thing that you want to be cautious of is uh, the rabbits will slow down in the winter time. You'll still get rabbits, but they'll slow down a little bit, especially when it starts to snow. More seeds. We want those for our farms. Yep. It's going to start changing now and it's going to get winter time. We're going to plant those pine cones here in a minute. We're going to get some more flowers because we need to fix our sanity just a little bit. Just because I'm playing survival. Now, in adventure mode, that is very helpful for you to not have very good sanity. Because when you go through the door on adventure mode, they take everything from you. And when I say everything, I mean everything. They pick the season in random. You get nothing that you had before. And you go through the door and you play in that season. So that that's just something to think about if you've been thinking about playing adventure mode. It's fun. But it's different, so just 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 to caution you. Now, the beefalo now are not going to be as friendly. See the red on their behinds? Okay, they're mating. So you want to stay away from them. Do not provoke them. See how they are? And they will come after you. Just be really careful. See, there it goes. There it goes, there it goes. we got to get away from him. And you don't want to camp close to them and this is the reason why um, and they will be like this until the spring so just be very cautious of these guys in the winter they get kind of now in the autumn and I didn't notice so much in the spring but you'll notice once you make it through winter which will be about day 35 to 7 about day 35 I think so you have to make it 14 days through winter You'll notice that the babies are born in the spring. It is kind of neat, though. It is kind of neat. But just be careful. Now, see how the rabbits are white now, too? Everything will start to change. More corn. The pigs will start to change a little bit. 
They don't get mean though. Pretty soon we're going to want to put on our rabbit earmuffs. And stuff like that. So. It's, it's fine. We made it to winter again. Autumn is something that I have an easier time with. Because I've, I've played through it a lot. And I've made it through autumn a lot into winter. Uh, summer was not something that I was very good at. Because to be honest with you, I had never played in summer. So I, I didn't know what to expect. Back, and then it it was hard. I I'm gonna say I think summer was harder than winter, and I used to think winter was really hard, but summer was brutal. It's so hot, and you just have to know how to play with it. So I decided that this time I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. My mind's going again. Now, I want to get my thermal stone out. So, we're going to get it. So, the thermal stone is this thing right here. That's your thermal stone. And what you're going to want to do with it is hang on to it. Because if you don't watch it, those moles will take it from you. Let's store the popcorn in the fridge. In the icebox. Okay, got it. It keeps your food fresher for just a little bit long. Let's store the cat tail too. I'm just trying to empty my pockets. Or my backpack. I says charcoal. Let's store it. See? And that's why it's so important to build storage chests too. Because um, then that way you have stuff where you can store it. You don't have to. Especially the stuff that you don't need all the time. Then you don't have to carry it all the time. And then you can have stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and build a fire up. Oh, did you hear that? It's asking me did I hear that. Okay. So I'm going to get my hand bat out. And we're going we're gonna to cross our fingers. Because it's probably another monster. Hopefully it's just hounds. But you never know. And I'll turn the volume up. So you can hear. It'll start asking you did you hear that? And you want to really be cautious. You hear it? I hear it. Oh gosh, I hope it's not this big monster. I'll never make it. I hope it's just hounds. The pigs are out here somewhere, I hope. It's probably just hounds from the sound of it. When it starts doing that on the screen and you start hearing that, you're going to really want to pay attention because um, you only have such like a split second. There it is. There it is. And you want to make sure because they're going to come from all sides. See? Got it. One more. One more. One more. Okay. One more. See? Now see how the football helmet and all that helped me? Now we made it. We made it. So we're done. Let's pick up all this meat, and we're going to save it for the pigs. Here we go. We're ready to rock and roll. It's going to snow now, and we're going to drop it right there. <laughs> there we go. I love this game. Okay. Now, what the thermal stone is going to do for you, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. When it gets this bright orange color, it's warm. The reason why it is so important to have this, and we're probably going to make an extra one too. Let's see if we can. In case it gets taken or something like that. Yeah, we, we have plenty. Let's make another one. Now, the reason that this is in survival, they call it a thermal Oh, wait. You have to make it over here. They call it a thermal stone. And the reason this is um, so important, and you can't have more than one in your pocket. You want to be very careful. Only one at a time. It's because it will keep you warm. So if you have to get out, walk around, you have to find anything in the winter, you're better off to have a thermal stone because it will keep you warm. You also want to make sure that you have plenty of wood and grass and stuff in your pocket. That way if you have to get out to get something, and this is why I say, from the get-go, when you start in autumn, 
food, 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 and wood, 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 and build that base camp. Because if you build it right, and you do it right, um, you won't have to worry. You'll stay warm, and you can kind of walk around close to where you are if you start running low on things and you need something. You can keep feeding the pigs. The pigs will help you if you help them. You'll, you'll be okay, but you just have to really, like, think about what you're doing. See all this food? <coughs> my thermal stone is warm, so I'm going to go out here. I'm going to fix my mind. And I am going to collect some more wood and stuff. And I'm going to eat something. Now I think the crops grow a little, little slower in the winter. But they'll still grow. You'll still get things from them. I'm going to chop some of these down. Now I don't necessarily know that I want to take the pine cones from these. And plant them. Because these are the lumpy ones. And there's a good chance with the lumpy ones that you're going to get the tree monster. And I don't want a tree monster. I don't want to deal with those. Those are a little harder than some of your other enemies. So I don't want that. So I'm just going to leave the pine cones from these. I'm not going to take it. Because I don't want to plant it. So I don't want to take the risk. That it would turn into a tree monster. We're going to go back over by my fire and stand for a minute. We're not going to put it on the ground. For fear that one of those um, moles would take it. We're going to collect more grass. But we're not going to collect it out of our camp. We're going to go over here and get it. Picking a base camp is probably the most important thing you're going to do. Um, in playing the game. You want to pick a place that's close to trees, close to grass. Um, I've never done much of the other stuff, like the fishing and stuff on here. I would like to give it a try. I know you can do it. I've just never done it that often. So that would be kind of cool, too. You just want to get enough stuff so you don't have to get too far away from your base during the winter. Your football helmet is supposed to, I think, protect you from the elements, too. But we have beefalo wool, and we do have um, rabbit earmuffs, and we have another thermal stone in case we learn we lose this one. And we're gonna get, keep killing the cocoons. They're good for the food, and they're good to make hand bats with. So we're gonna keep killing them. It's better for me. Anyway, and the way I play, hang on, I'm just going to put this up. Now we got lots of it. We got lots of food, I'm telling you. See, there's something else. What is this thing? Go away. Stop. Got it. Oh, that pig turned mean. Okay, hang on. Let's heal. We got it. There's all kinds of excitement going on in this game. Jeez. Okay, let's go get some butterfly wings if we can find them. Oh my god, it's never rained in winter before. What the heck is going on? What are we doing? Well, that was a fast winter. Okay, let's eat. Is it winter over? What's going on here? Guys, I really don't know what's going on. It's like thawed out now. Hang on, I gotta find some butterfly wings. We gotta heal. This is different. I've never seen it do that before. And surely to goodness winter's not over already. I think that pig ate that monster meat and that's what turned him so gnarly. 
Well, if it is spring, we're going to have to build a log so we can go get our tentacles for our raincoat. i got to get some flowers. Give me just a minute here. And butterfly wings. I've killed all... Oh, no, but it's snowing again. I was like, surely to goodness not already. Okay. Maybe it's just trying to do it in between. I was like, what in the world? Okay, we gotta go back because we don't want to get too cold. But I needed flowers, but I don't see any. This game is very fun. You never know what to expect. I guess we shouldn't feed him any more monster meat. That I think it turned that pig scary. Let's go parents if we see any. There's the flowers. We needed butterfly wings, but I don't think we're gonna find them. But let's get our flowers anyway. We'll probably wrap it up here in just a minute. Oh, we gotta go back. We don't wanna get caught here. In the dark, shoot. Now those green mushrooms, they glow, but you don't want to eat them. And that's another good tip. Okay, let's light the fire here. And we'll get a thermal stone all warmed up. Probably when it becomes daylight again, we'll wrap it up for the day. This was fun, though. We did a lot of fun stuff. And we made it from, we made it about seven more days. So that's, that's really good. I think that trap was done. And the next time, we'll continue to play through winter. We'll make some more traps, too. Now, your crops, like I said, they will slow down. But we got some good stuff out of it. And we've already got the farms built. So, uh, we'll try to plant them in the spring and get more stuff if it slows down too bad. Let's go ahead and eat a little something else. We need to heal, too. Well, that'll have to be next time. Actually, if you eat the petals, it does help a little bit with your health. If you eat flower, the flower petals, it will heal you some. Let's see if I got any in these chests anywhere over here. Anything at all that would help me? No. I need to organize these. We might do that next time. But that's how this is played. And it's really a lot of fun. And it, it's, it can be intense. I mean, it, if stuff like that bothers you, then you, know, you probably shouldn't. Um, I don't get too bothered by it. But, you know, if you're bothered by the jump scare or anything like that, if that triggers you, then... It's probably not the game for you, but it's just fun to me. I've, Gosh, I think I've played for four or five years, but I'm just now getting with it where I understand a little bit better. It gets a little funner as you go along. Now that I can make the better weapons and stuff, it's, it's a lot more fun. So, we'll wait till it becomes daylight and turns over to day 23. I need to write that down for my description tomorrow morning. I don't know why it keeps taking us in and out of winter. I don't understand. Usually by this time we've made it into snow, and but that's okay. Maybe it'll do it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and I think I do remember watching a video or something some one time where someone said if you fed the pig that it would turn into a wear pig. So I think that's what happened. So if you feed if you feed the pigs monster meat, um, sometimes it'll turn them into those um, like wear pigs or whatever happened. Okay, we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna save it. Very important to always save your game. Um, any game you play, um, but this game too. And this is where I'm going to give you my big, big spiel. So, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit those notifications. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, that's okay. Um, I understand, um, you know, probably subscribe to a lot of content creators. But 
come on over and join me. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're having a lot of fun over here. Uh, we would love to have you as a part of the group, um, as a part of the Crossing Maniac channel. So come on over and subscribe. Uh, make sure that you're liking the videos. Um, and if you are subscribed, make sure you hit those notifications so you're getting notified when I'm going live, when I have a new video, um, things of that nature. Um, also, leave me a comment in the comment box below. You know, how far have you made it? Like, what season is your favorite season to start out in? Um, what's your favorite weapon to make? What's your favorite set of armor to wear? Uh, just anything in general about the game, you know, in general would be good. Uh, it helps me if you leave me a comment. It helps me if you like it. Um, it helps me even more if you subscribe to my channel because it helps me continue to grow. And if I can continue to grow, I can continue to do what I love to do, which is make content for you. So I'm going to let you go now and quit chattering in your ear. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, then leave me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.